instructions. First thing we need to do is gather our materials. You need an old water bottle that you cut in half. We're going to be using both of these pieces, but we don't really need the lid, so I'm going to leave that aside. And eventually we're going to be fitting this top part into the bottom half. We also need some cotton balls or pieces of fabric. I've just cut up an old t-shirt that I had laying around and never gets used. That way we can reuse these. So if you have cotton balls, that works great too. We have a little bit of soil. You can get this from a pot of soil if you have some or under a tree or at your park. I've also got some sand here, some small rocks, and some water. This could be a cup of water, this could be a bowl of water, anything that you can have some water because we're going to be adding some of the soil to our water to make it really dirty. Thanks Sam. Go ahead and pause the video so you can gather all these materials and then come back when you're ready. The goal of this activity is to see if we can use just these earth materials that are easily available to make dirty water into clean water. We're not making this so we can drink the water, but we're using this to see how the water, dirty water might interact with the different types of earth materials to clean it up. So the way we get to do this is by taking the uh, top half of the water bottle with the spout, holding it upside down and adding your cotton balls or your pieces of cotton fabric to the bottom. That way no chunks fall out the top. We then are going to add a bunch of sand. You can fill this about halfway up with sand. That should be good. And we'll add a layer of rocks on top of that. When we pour our dirty water in through this filter that we've just made, I wonder if the water is going to be any cleaner coming out the other side. I'm going to fix these two together just by twisting them around and I'll set this aside. Thanks Sam. Go ahead and take those steps that Sam just shared with us and then come on back when you're ready for the next step. It's time for us to make our dirty water before we do this experiment. So I've got my clean water and I'm just going to add a couple pinches of dirt to this water might get a little messy. You could do this outside or make sure you have a table mat so you don't get your table super gross. So I've added some soil to make this water really muddy. Something like this might happen in nature if there is a landslide or something called erosion, which is when the banks of the river start to get washed away. Give it a couple shakes. This water sure is dirty. Now let's see what happens when we pour it into our homemade water filter. I'm seeing it slowly drain to the very bottom. It might take a minute or so, but you can see the water level, how it's going down. We're about to the sand now. Thanks, Sam. Now it's your turn to finish the experiment.